This is our niece, Addie. Can you say hi? Hi. <laughs> so we're here. She's here at our tiny house. She's with Nick. <laughs> Good morning. Today is Sunday, March 11th. It's actually daylight savings, so it's 11:42. We woke. I woke up at 9:44, and I was like, "Oh, so late! I gotta get up." And I realized it's daylight savings. It was actually 8:44 that I woke up. So I was pretty early on my own. Anyway. I just wanted to let you know that I just had two Kent mangoes. They were like, they weren't very good, but I did enjoy them, you know, to the, the best of my ability with the flavor. It just wasn't, it's really weird because I've been getting some of the Kent mangoes and when I open them up, they're like brown on the inside and then they don't, they, you know, they don't like ripen, they get soft on the outside, but then they're like brown on the inside. It's just like, kind of, you know, it is what it is. Like the fact that I even have access to mangoes right now is, awesome um, so I was able to enjoy the nice flesh around them when they were really good but uh, to eat the brown parts they were very good tasting so anyway I just had two of those and now Angie and I are gonna get our day started we probably will go for a walk before we start doing some stuff we're planning to do some learning about Instagram, doing some more YouTube stuff, you know, things like that, because that's kind of what we do on our Sundays now, we kind of work on our business, or just like plan things, which is great and helpful. So that's kind of the plan for today, and yeah, I think that's it for now. I am heating up a pastele, because I kind of, I had my Zoom interview yesterday, and for the master fast and I don't know I just felt a little bit weird afterwards because I do like I did the fast because I just wanted to clean up my body and then I realized like the more I learned about the fast the more I learned that it's actually like a lifestyle and I don't know that I'm ready to make that commitment yet in my life so I'm just kind of gonna go with the flow in March and just kind of like eat things see how I feel and then come April, I think I would like to do a fast for the month of April. But we'll see how that goes. I, you know, I'm doing an exercise routine. And obviously they recommend eating like breakfast, lunch, and dinner, which is not something that they recommend in the master fast, especially after fast. But I've also just been having a lot of great bowel releases. So we'll see what happens. I mean, I don't, I don't know how I really want to incorporate this into my life yet. So that's something that I'm really meditating on, thinking about, um, you know, just, just really focusing on and working on. So yeah, I'm just allowing myself to kind of eat how I want to within the realm of being vegan and plant-based. Mostly plants I'm eating not any greens or legumes or anything like that so we'll see how things go but i really just want to try one of the pasteles before i go on the fast honestly so we'll see how that goes i have been having like mucus come out a lot um not sure if it's because of the food that i'm eating or if it's still stuff coming out from when i did the fast i mean it could probably it could be both it could also be i don't know we'll see i don't know I don't know exactly what it is, but I'm not really questioning it, and I'm just allowing my body to do what it needs to do and not be so difficult with myself about it. So that's kind of what's happening right now. Um, and I really had to talk things out this morning with Andrew regarding my call last night, because I do take, take things to heart, and that's something that I'm working on, not taking things personally, but it's just like, I like to do things correctly a lot of the time, but I also feel that I'm realizing more and more there's no correct thing to do. There's no right, there's no wrong. There's like, to see what works for you and how what makes you feel the best. And I just haven't found that yet. So we'll see. I'll keep you posted on my journey. I'm feeling really good still. So anyway, just, you know, some confusion, which happens in life. You know, you get confused and you kind of work through it. So... 
Anyway, just wanted to kind of touch on that. I might talk more about that later, but I kind of talked a lot of it out this morning, so I feel pretty good. I talked it out with Andrew, and I feel like much better than I did when I woke up, so. Hello! Okay, so today, this morning has been a little bit difficult for me, but Andrew and I went for a little walk, and we got to sit by a stream, and I feel so much better. I really needed that. Whenever I'm by water, I feel like a million times better, so that was really helpful for me. And I, I think I told you earlier, I had two mangoes. They weren't the best tasting. But now for um, my second meal, I'm having a salad with some sprouts and things like that. Some sauerkraut. No. There you go. So I have some salad, tomato, sprouts, red onion, some sauerkraut. And then I have a pastele that I made when I was at my parents' house. So that's what I'm having for my second meal. I just wanted to keep you posted about what I'm eating, how I'm feeling. Today was a little bit difficult for me, but I'm just so grateful that I have access to this food and I'm so grateful that I'm able to eat and have a functional body and do all this amazing stuff. So anyway, yes, I just wanted to say that and I hope you're enjoying your day. I hope you're having a great day and even if you have difficult moments, you can always turn them around. And my turnaround has significantly decreased from when I'm having a hard time. It used to like ruin my entire day. I used to allow it to ruin my whole day. But now it's just like much better and easier to just kind of refocus. <laughs> so, okay, no, you're fine. I just wanted to touch base and say that I had two pasteles. They were really good. They weren't really, really big ones. And I had salad. And that was about at two o'clock or so. And now it's around five. I got really hungry, so. I'm gonna eat. I'm, I ate one of these little apple bananas already and now I'm about to eat the second one. And I also started some potatoes that I'm steaming, whether I'm not sure if I'm gonna eat those tonight or not. And I also put a sprouted uh, bagel in the oven because I tried some of my kale pesto that I had froze and it's amazing. It's really good. I'm not really sure which kale pesto it was because I didn't label the container which was a little silly of me, but I really liked this one. And anyway, so I had a little bit, a few of those with some Sammy's crackers. I had like, I think three of the Sammy crackers, but they felt a little too heavy. They're, they're really good, they're gluten-free, they have pretty clean ingredients in them, but they do have um, quite a bit of oil and just seemed a little heavy with the pesto. So I just kind of put those back and then I was like, I'd rather have a sprouted bagel with these I'd rather eat the sprouted wheat than have like a heavy oily cracker. So that's what I'm doing right now and I just wanted to touch base and anyway like it seems I mean I had like that call yesterday and it kind of put me in this down mode a little bit but you know this is like what I really wanted to do. This was kind of my plan to just eat whole grains plant-based like whole plant-based diet where that includes like green gr uh, fruits and vegetables, legumes, grains, um, things like that. Kind of what uh, Dr. McDougal recommends and the China study and you know, a lot of other people uh, like uh, Dr. Davis and anyway, so that's what I wanted to try because I also want to increase my workout routine. I want to be able to be strong and fit and that's what I'm doing right now and it's been super, super hard for me to come up to this conclusion and just like be okay with it because I just have all these other opinions in my head and it's very frustrating and very annoying because I'm not listening to myself and so I'm just like, you know, whatever. I want to do this and see what happens and so that's what I'm doing. So I'm going to be okay with that. I am okay with that and I am working on that and that's one of the things that I want to do. So I will keep you posted on how I feel. I just lately I've been feeling a little bit frustrated because it's just like I want to listen to myself but I have all these other people's opinions in my mind, in my head. You know, I did work really hard doing this cleanse. I'm not saying that I'm not gonna go back to it. That's not what I'm saying at all. I just really want to eat this way for a little bit and see how I feel and also have like an actual exercise routine. And then, you know, if I'm not feeling good with the eating, I can do the fasting again, but I want to continue my exercise routine because I really want to be able to do handstands and climb on trees and, you know, run really fast and do all 
all these things that I've always wanted to do that I've never really been able to do with my body. So that's what's happening with me right now. And I just wanted to share that and I'm gonna enjoy this banana now.